I think we can say that human systems, whether it's uh, economies or cities or businesses, are operating in a way which grows very differently to a healthy natural system. The kind of innovation that we need in the world today um, can begin by returning to nature. the ability to feel what it means to be someone else as them, which is different than putting yourself in their shoes. It's like, what is it like to be them in their shoes, which is a deeper level. And so bioempathy is really about the ability to put yourself in nature as part of nature. So how does a complex, dynamic living system work? And what are the qualities of that system? Nature holds a lot of innovation. It, it is a story that has evolved over 4.6 billion years and there are uh, technologies that exist in nature that um, we can barely understand, uh, therefore we can respect and try to work in harmony with, uh, maybe borrow a little bit from, and to make them practical with um, social change programs and leadership programs. <laughs> Your focus is to reconnect people and nature by understanding nature and our own individual connection and then you know expanding from there our whole community and cultural connection. Then you know that the results you get will be, you know, will be enduring, will be will be beautiful, and will be really what you're trying to achieve. biomimicry techniques to learn how to learn from nature um, and in doing so you connect with nature in new and sometimes surprising ways. So when we use our human cleverness and all the science we have together with what we can learn from nature that's what biomimicry is trying to bring to society. So you find this new love of yourself, um, this newfound curiosity um, of your own ideas as well as others. And when, when groups use uh, nature as a tool for innovation, then what happens is beautiful among the people who are innovating. And that beauty and curiosity and respect for nature flows into the work that you do.